And India is still a relatively young nation. So, we thought it fit to drive a car that reflects the aspirational values of a young and progressive country. And so, the Mercedes-Benz GLA seemed to be the right choice. Our plan is to drive to the major border posts in the country and pay our respects. And so, we head out to the northern international borders of India in Punjab, Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh. Our first stop is the Husseiniwala border post that conducts a ceremony every day at 6 p.m. It's similar to the more popular one at Waga, but here the attendees on both sides are situated at much closer proximity to each other. So, shouting matches take place between the two sides as they're seated right across from one another. But on both sides, attendees are waving and smiling at each other, perhaps realizing the symbolic value of these ceremonies. The intensity of the soldiers on either side, however, is quite dramatic and the high kicks and foot stomping that ensues between the Indian and Pakistani soldiers is highly entertaining. And, as you see the tricolor flutter in the sunset, the experience is electrifying and poignant at the same time. Our next stop is the Waga border, which on the Indian side is called the Atari border. As we entered Atari, we were closer to Lahore, just 23 kilometers than we were to Amritsar. The next day, we began the
for one of the most reliable pillars of our country, the armed force. Having been on the road for five long days, we finally planted the tricolor next to the GLA and just sat there and watched it sway in the strong winds against the backdrop of the mighty Himalaya. So our epic journey culminates a few kilometers short of the Indochina border at Shipkila. And there's an incredible sense of calm in the mountains. But you can bet if that calm is ever shattered for any reason, the men and women of our armed forces will spring into action. Now we've covered some pretty treacherous terrain on our 3,000 plus kilometer journey. But it doesn't begin to even tell the story of the extreme conditions in which the men and women of our armed forces operate. Now you're probably watching this video in the comfort of your home or office. But spare a thought for those brave souls who put everything on the line to ensure our freedom. Thank <laughs> you.